never do that. That's what everybody says. No matter what, when you tell them you've given up caffeine, it's like it's programmed into us. But what if it's making your symptoms worse? Would that be worth your time? A few years ago, a chiropractor who was a video client of mine hooked me up to some fancy machine and told me I was at about 80% of bodily exhaust, which might sound like witch doctor science to you, and that's fine. But it's his takeaway that I knew was true. I had adrenaline fatigue really bad. And up until about January of this year, 2022, I just sort of lived with it. And I dealt with symptoms like totally manic mornings where I would send stupid emails and post stupid social posts that I would later regret, falling asleep after lunch and feeling like a drunk for an hour after waking up, sometimes napping for two hours on the weekends, and feeling unfocused and really grumpy with my kids by about 6.30 p.m. And that was like every night. All of that stopped when I switched to decaf. See, I got the idea from ex-Navy SEAL Captain Jocko Willink, who often lives on five hours of sleep. He said he'd only use caffeine if he was out on patrol while sitting in a Humvee. Otherwise, he'd never use it. And that got me to thinking, do I really need this? So, last December, I ended up in the ER. It's another story for another time. And in lieu of that, I made a number of dietary changes, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give up caffeine as well. And that meant coffee, and that meant those little flavoring packets that I would use anytime I was on a video shoot, and that meant pop. And I gotta tell you, the withdrawal was not really that bad. I stayed busy on some things I like to do and I barely noticed. And within a few days, I was a lot more even keel. I could just feel like just being um, steady. Into the evening, I have more energy, and I get more done. So here's what I think. You may like the comfort and ritual of coffee, so find something healthy that you like to drink that is not caffeinated and drink that instead. I like decaf coffee, I still drink decaf, and yes, it has some caffeine. I like to put coconut cream and MCT oil in it. I brew it pretty strong. And I'm gonna bet, as far as CPPS goes, your symptoms will improve, you'll pee less, and you'll be less stressed, you'll be on less of a roller coaster ride, and stress is a huge, huge contributor to CPPS. So, this might be worth your time. So try it, and keep your damn knuckles up. CPPS Caffeine, take one! It's been a long time!